Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to all to the uh, Computer Network, Sur Network Security course. Um, uh, my name is uh, Amr Muhammad. Uh, just uh, a quick introduction about myself. I've been in, in, the, in the department uh, since 2007. Before that, I did my master's and PhD in the University uh, of British Columbia in Canada. And uh, after that, I actually, during my PhD, I worked in IBM in Canada for about 10 years, and then I joined the department in 2007. Um, so I was promoted to associate and then finally to a professor uh, about two years ago. Uh, my area of speciality, the core area of speciality, uh, is wireless networking and communication. So it's not security. Just to, uh, to be clear and honest, um, my core area of speciality is not security. Maybe it's a shock to, especially to students that I'm supervising, but it's not my area of, of speciality, at least the core area of speciality. Uh, therefore, um, there will be times during this course that I will learn from the students. And uh, I really hope that uh, students can interact and make it beneficial for everyone, uh, so that it will be like a bi-directional kind of communication and useful for everyone. Uh, I also understand that, uh, you know, as an extra challenge that some of you, uh, you have strong background in security, and uh, at least you have gone through some courses uh, in security before, and some of you have not. Um, uh, and that's, that's always a problem when it comes to security. So we'll try to tailor the, uh, the course material and the discussions so that it suits uh, both categories of people, people who are you know, experts in security and uh, people who have not gone through any courses in security before. It's, it's quite a challenge, actually. So, at the beginning in this uh, lecture, I thought we can just go through the syllabus, um, just to give you some idea about how the course is going to go. And uh, in the second part of the lecture, I'm going to go through the introduction part, uh, which I'm, I'm going to highlight in, uh, as part of the syllabus. So this is, uh, of course, uh, uh, some information about myself. And uh, this is the course description. And I'm going to talk in details about the topics that we'll discuss as part of this course. Uh, the textbook is uh, by uh, William Salins, the uh, Network Security Essentials, uh, Applications uh, and Standards. Uh, and this uh, textbook uh, focuses intensively on uh, security protocols when it comes to uh, communication, communication, or networking uh, security protocols. Um, there are some other references, but they are really secondary. So this book is the main focus, and uh, we are going to focus on the sixth edition of this course. Uh, there are some uh, external references. I will, uh, I will hand out many uh, state-of-the-art papers. Um, uh, so uh, as part of the assignments, people who are taken some graduate courses with me before, uh, they are uh, pretty much familiar with the style. So um, uh, for me, for uh, graduate students, you need to have, you need to develop your skills when it comes to uh, uh, expressing your uh, research work uh, in simple ideas um, and, uh, you know, having some hands-on skills uh, to be familiar with some tools and I try to achieve that as part of every single graduate course that I teach. So, uh, in terms of uh, course learning outcomes, the, the, the first uh, two, they focus on the theoretical part of the course. So, uh, the first one is understand and analyze network security essentials and basic concepts. And this is pretty much going to be covered today and maybe next time. Uh, where we will uh, discuss some basic definitions for uh, some uh, security uh, uh, fundamentals, like what uh, security attack means, what uh, uh, security services, security mechanism, things like that, security model and whatnot. So, so these basic definitions are very, very important for us to uh, start talking about uh, uh, network security mechanisms and protocols. So... Uh, uh, the second one uh, focuses on the, uh, uh, the network security part, mainly where we will go through the, uh, the network layers, 
one by one, and then we will talk about uh, the key or the common uh, uh, network security protocols in this layer, which essentially means that I expect you to be familiar with, uh, 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 strongly actually, with computer networks, the fundamentals of networks when it comes to the layer and model, what layer means, what network function means, and so on. So when I, uh, when I say uh, TLS is a security protocol in the transport layer, I expect you to know what that means. I'm not going to explain you know, what transport layer means and what are the networking protocols in this layer. I assume that you already, you're already familiar with that. If not, then uh, you're going to have a problem with this course here because uh, it builds on some uh, networking uh, uh, basics. Okay? So this, is the, this, this uh, uh, focuses on the theory part. And these two, they focus on the practical part of the course. So we use uh, mathematical and software tools uh, for designing and planning enterprise network security. So we will, we will uh, have to go through some hands-on or development-based assignments where you will write like some uh, MATLAB code, you write some scripts using tools called Snort tool to learn how to uh, 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 program some uh, mechanism to mitigate some security attacks, things like that. So the, 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 there is some hands-on part uh, of the course where you will have to go through learning these uh, tools and using them. Um, the last one, of course, is to work in groups. Uh, it looks like from the number, you will, have, you will need to have a group of two people uh, per, uh, per project. Um, and uh, the project is a significant part of the course, which I will talk about in a minute. Um, and you will work on this uh, project uh, uh, as a group of two or maximum three people, depending on the number. It looks like two is going to be sufficient for now. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to give you some uh, suggested topics, of course, and you are very much welcome to define your own project scope and work on it. Okay, so this, these are the course uh, learning outcomes. Um, these are the topics and uh, the book actually categorizes the different chapters into parts. So uh, there is part zero. Part zero here talk about these uh, basic concepts. We're going to start with these basic concepts today. So uh, this includes some basic network security concepts uh, and definitions. Uh, and these are very important for us to set the ground for uh, uh, any advanced or future discussions when it comes to the different networking protocols and, uh, 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 and, and security mechanisms. Then, we are going to discuss um, here, these two uh, are part of part one in the book. And in there, we are going to talk about cryptographic techniques and mechanisms, where we will study symmetric uh, encryption, uh, asymmetric public keys, and so on, uh, elliptic curve, uh, things like that. Okay? And these are, again, uh, uh, very fundamental ingredients for us to develop any security service. Okay. Um, then part two, all the way to here. This is part two. Okay. So in this part, we are going to go through the networking layers one by one, starting from the network access layer all the way to the application layer to talk about the security protocols in, in every single layer, okay? So for every la layer, for example, in network layer, the common, of course, security protocol is IPsec, transport layer, we're going to talk about uh, TLS or SSL, things like that. What is, what, what, uh, what is the, the, the main procedures and processes as part of these protocols and what are the characteristics and the implication of this protocol running in a specific layer, okay? 
So this is uh, part two. Uh, the last part for uh, part three, we will talk about system level security. So for this part, it's not specific to one layer in the networking stack, but it's actually for, for the whole system. For example, a very common example of this is intrusion detection. Okay, so intrusion detection talks about preventing attacks to the entire system, not in a specific layer. Okay, so it does not uh, uh, work uh, within one uh, layer. So these are the topics and how they are uh, categorized. Okay, and of course here, this part where uh, we will talk about uh, seminars, um, uh, any 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 uh, 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 thing that's uh, outside of these topics, uh, including seminars, exams. Uh, any kind of ex uh, external discussion, okay? Okay, so uh, All right, so assessment, assessments uh, For assessments We're gonna have five assignments uh, in, in this course um, And these assignments are categorized in three different categories uh, again, uh, those of you who have taken some graduate course with me before, they are familiar with these types of uh, assignments. So there will be uh, two assignments uh, that uh, focus on uh, very simply paper review. So for paper review, I'm going to uh, uh, hand out some specific paper. Okay, select a paper for the entire class and ask uh, uh, everyone to go through the paper and to answer specific questions, not just to provide summary, no, to answer specific questions. These questions are going to be provided in the assignment and you need to uh, precisely answer each question based on your understanding of the paper, uh, not from the paper, not by copying and pasting from the paper, but based on your understanding to what's in the paper. And of course, I have to highlight here that all these types of assignments are uh, uh, submitted through safe assignment. So they are checked for similarity and everything. So what we're trying to uh, uh, do here is to um, read the paper, uh, criticize the paper as much as you can, and then express your understanding of the paper. Okay, in simple words. Uh, and you are going to do that by answering specific questions. So for example, what is the main problem of the paper? So you need to express, express that using your own words and so on. Um, of course, if you want to collaborate uh, uh, between yourselves, it's, it's highly encouraged, but you know, uh, copying from each other, of course, is not, uh, it's not, it's not uh, the way to go. So that's one category. The other category, is uh, 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 practical assignments. And by practical assignments here, I mean that we have two assignments where we will use two different tools. Um, one using, uh, you know, uh, 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 programming some cryptographic techniques inside MATLAB and checking that cryptographic techniques in terms of performance against some wireless channel impairments and, and things like that. So that's, that's one assignment. The other assignment is, as I said before, using a snort tool to, again, uh, program some script to uh, check for intrusion detection, things like that, okay? So these are practical assignments. Uh, the third type, the third type, you're gonna have one assignment only, which will include some, you know, problems from the book or some narrative questions from the book. And this will be targeted towards, you know, uh, preparing you for the exam, okay? So you're going to have specific questions directly from the book and from the material, which will, you know, uh, uh, allow you to prepare yourself for the questions in the final exam. Or in, in, there's no final exam, by the way. I'm going to talk about that uh, for the midterm, which is technically a final. Uh, so the seminar. Seminar, uh, I expect uh, uh, every student to deliver one seminar. One seminar. So 
Uh, the seminar is gonna be uh, uh, like about 20 minutes maximum. And um, in the seminar, uh, I'm going to uh, leave it up to you to select the topic of your choice, maybe related to your work, uh, your research, your workplace outside the university, maybe something that you would like to learn about so that you can use it for your course project. We're going to talk about the, the project in a minute. Okay? So select a topic of your choice and then try to uh, find uh, at least two papers. At least two papers, technical papers. Not a survey, technical papers that uh, solve or uh, uh, try to tackle some uh, problems related to that topic. Okay? Uh, and then go through these uh, uh, papers, two papers at least, by highlighting the, the problem that this paper tries to solve, what is the approach that this paper or the methodology that this paper uses to try to solve that problem, and what are the major results, the findings of the paper. And you do that for both papers, and then finally you, you conclude. You, you, you try to highlight some conclusions based on these two papers. What these two papers did not solve, what, what, how they solved the problems that they tried to solve, your, uh, um, uh, your perception or your uh, opinion about the, uh, the methodology that was used, and we'll try to learn how to be critical to uh, what we read in these papers uh, as much as we can. Okay? Uh, the midterm, midterm is technically a final because there's no final. So the midterm is going to be towards the end of the course. Uh, so um, the midterm will cover the material, the entire material that we will discuss in class because this is the only opportunity where you have to demonstrate your level of understanding to this material. Okay? Um, uh, so, uh, we, we have to announce when this midterm, and as I said, it's towards the end of the course. Uh, the project is very significant. As you can see, the project component is even higher than the, the midterm. Um, the project is, uh, 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 of course, related to the scope of uh, the course, and um, uh, it's already posted on Blackboard, if, so, if some of you uh, have try to access the blackboard, it's already uh, added as an assignment. So uh, in two weeks from now, you need, to, uh, you need to write like one single paper, or one page, one page, uh, about the project topic that you plan to uh, embark on, and uh, what are the objectives and the deliverables of this uh, project. What do you expect to achieve at the end? Uh, is it just a, a simulation model? Is it just um, uh, like some application, actual application of client and server, and you will demonstrate some security uh, issues uh, or, or what? But it has to be uh, something developed. It's not. I don't. I, I don't consider paper reviews and paper summary as a project. I, I, I don't do that. So it has to be development based. You have to develop something. It could be a simulation, could be an actual application, it doesn't matter. Okay. You, can, you are welcome to use whatever software or hardware platform uh, you want to demonstrate certain concept of security of code. Okay? So the project itself uh, uh, is divided into three phases, uh, and that's explained in details in the project description you uh, try to again access Blackboard, you will see that the project is divided into three phases. The first phase is just a proposal, which is the one page which is due, I think, September 1st. Yeah, so, so in two weeks, uh, you have to uh, define a scope and just a high-level scope. And again, if you are puzzled, if you don't know what to do, you can come to the office hour and uh, I'm 
I'm going to talk about office hour. I forgot to mention that. Uh, and then we can we can discuss it. We can uh, uh, you know try to brainstorm uh, for a good suitable topic that you can use or you can uh, uh, work on. Okay. So the first phase proposal. Second phase, you are supposed to deliver. Uh, a detailed design of what your implementation is going to have exactly the detailed design. So everything basically except for the results. What is the the detailed design of your project? What tools are you going to have? What system model you are going to study? What is the scenario? What protocols you are going to use? Uh, uh, all the details. If you, if you have some results, perfect, but I'm not expecting in phase two you will have uh, results, okay? Phase three, of course, is where you have to deliver all the components of the project, the implementation, the report, and you have to do a presentation where you have to present all your findings of that project. Okay, any questions uh, so far? The office hour is going to be one hour before the lecture. And for that, I want to uh, really uh, 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 request something of you because um, I, I tried to move the course from Wednesday and it looks like it's going to be hard because some people are taking other courses and it's going to conflict. So what I'm requesting is to start a little bit early, if possible, if it does not conflict with any one of you. At least, at least one hour or e even half an hour is fine. So if we start 4 or 4.30, it would be nice. And in all cases, in all cases, the office hour is going to be one hour before. And of course, you feel free to uh, even schedule individual office hour if you need by sending me an email. You can do it online or you can do it face-to-face. Whatever works for you, okay. But uh, four is 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 hard for some of you. So uh, four is a little bit hard, okay. Any any problems with that? Hamad, do you have any problems to start at four? Huh? Eh? For the class, we start now. Yeah, so 4 is okay for, for you, okay, but it's hard for some people. 4.30 is okay? 4.30 would be a good, a good workaround, okay. A good middle ground, huh? 4.30 is okay. Okay. And by the way, I also requested to, to, uh, to change this room because it's, it's very far from everything. And for example, now I had a problem with my connector and had to walk all the way to my office. This is actually part of the, I think, uh, the, the mathematics department or the College of Arts and Sciences. So it's, it's very far from everything. So I requested to move the class and I'm going to announce if, uh, if the request was granted, I will, I will announce uh, the new location. It's, more, it's probably going to be in F uh, or E corridor, which, is, which, is, which belongs to College of Engineering at least. And it's close to the office. Hmm? G213? Yeah, the one that uh, we did uh, Okay. Okay, I'm going to talk to him about this. I will talk to him about this. G213, okay. Which is the same like this one, but it's G instead of C. So uh, that's easy to remember. Uh, uh, so uh, I think we covered. We covered. Any, any questions? Is what? MATLAB? No, 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 no. But no, no. There is one assignment. There is one assignment that I prepared. It actually <laughs> it took me more than a week to 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 because I had to I had to write some code in MATLAB to implement 
most of the common cryptographic techniques that we will study in class. Um, so uh, in the assignment, I'm going to give you some code, okay, which I have to I have to write almost from scratch. But then I will ask you to fill some gaps in this code. So that has to be in MATLAB. But I'm okay if you want to replicate this code in any other tool. Like, for example, if you want to do it using Python, that's also fine by me. But you have to, you have to write uh, uh, the code in Python to replicate whatever we have in, the, in, in MATLAB. You have both choices open. So uh, if you go to ITS, they will set it up for you. Uh, uh, or they can send you a link for the cloud. Uh, okay, yeah, cloud will be fine. Except that maybe it's going to be a little bit slow. It will be a little bit slow. Uh, so uh, if, you, if you go through the assignment using the cloud version, be prepared because the, the, it, it takes a bit of a, a, bit of a time. Because the, the, this, the, uh, if you transfer, I have like some images, you transfer some images over wireless channel and I have to, have to divide the image into blocks and send each block separately using different encryption techniques and different channel models and so on and so forth. So to study the performance in this environment takes time. So if you, uh, if you have a local version of MATLAB, Actually, logically, the cloud version should be faster, but, uh, but, but ironically, it's not. It's not faster, and actually the standalone version is, is, is going to be faster. Even if you run it on a normal MATLAB, it's going to be faster. Because I tried, I tried it, this cloud-based version. It's, it's very slow, very slow. Yeah. And this, uh, this is the second assignment, so you better start you know working on setting up MATLAB as soon as possible if you have any, any issue with that. Any other questions? Sorry? The seminar. Hmm? The seminar. Okay. The seminar every student needs to deliver a seminar. The part that uh, it's good that you reminded me, the part that I did not talk about is that there is a seminar scheduled on, on Blackboard. If you go to Blackboard, you will find a link, seminar schedule. Click on this link, it will take you to a spreadsheet on Google Drive where you write your name. I actually found some proactive students uh, who have already assigned their names in, in specific dates. Uh, so we have to start next week. Seminars will have to start next week. So I need volunteers for next week. And the way I do this, uh, rather than you know trying to beg everyone to to do the seminar this week, I put this spreadsheet, and you know uh, whoever assigns their names to this spreadsheet, I will stick with these dates. And uh, if you don't put your name in, I'm gonna have to ask you to do it on a specific date of my choice. Well, well, I'm thinking from day the first, but on the topic. Yeah. A topic we we can work on on, on the don't don't worry. We, we can work on the topic. And actually, I also forgot to say that. It, well, I'm here to help you. So if you ever have any issue selecting a topic, whether for your project, for your seminar, things like that, I can always help you with this. Okay? So we can have a session, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, online or face-to-face. -face. You can discuss it. Uh, I'm going to give you some choices. And then if you like any of them, I'm going to give you some material. I'm going to help you to even select specific papers. And uh, also feel free to share the, the papers with me. Because some people, some, some students, what they do is that they, they select a topic and then they try to find any two papers. When they present it and they go through it, they find that they are not worth it, really. Yani it's a, almost a waste of time. Because the, sometimes the papers are really redundant and they do not give any good insights about that topic. Okay? So if you are in, in doubt, share the papers with me. Try to have more than two papers. Okay? I'm going to give you some 
feedback about the papers that you selected. I think there's nothing better than this. So you share the papers with me. I can tell you this paper is good, this paper is... Because for me, based on experience, I can look at the paper and in one minute or two minutes, I can recognize whether the paper is actually worth reading or not. Okay? That, that requires a little bit of a background and experience, uh, which we develop, develop or accumulate throughout the years. Okay? Um, so I can help you with that. I can at least give you some idea. This paper is good. This paper is not good. And, well, main criteria is that, you know, if, if it's a, a journal paper, an IEEE or Elsevier journal, chances are it's, it's pretty good. It's good. It's worth the time, really. Okay? Uh, if it's a conference paper, well, it depends. Some conferences are really, really bad. Uh, and some conferences are better than the journal. This is the problem when it comes to uh, papers and the venue where this paper is published. And it's in many cases, especially if you are starting your graduate studies, you don't have this, you know, feeling to judge whether this paper is actually worth reading or not. But we can help you with that. This is the type of aid of, of skills and experience that we want to develop and help you to develop. Okay? Uh, having said that, I'm, I'm sure that, again, uh, I will learn from many of you, especially when it comes to this course. I mean, I, I taught before advanced networks, wireless communication, you know, ad hoc networks, all these courses. It's in the core area of my background, so I'm much more comfortable. But in this course, I'm sure that we will try to learn from each other as we go through. Any other questions or issues? Okay. So we will uh, pause for uh, five minutes just to switch. And then we will switch gear to uh, the introduction uh, part. The, uh, the syllabus, pretty much.